Hey everyone! I thought you might like this wee uh, video that I put together. It's using, uh, I suppose you could call it a game, a piece of software on the computer. Um, and it's called Spore Creature Creators. And it ties in really well with the task that I've set you for this week. And that is to design your own fantasy creature. So I'm going to use this piece of software just to explain to you how you might go about designing your fantasy creature. The first thing you're going to think about is the body shape. Um, does it have a tail? Um, has it got a long neck? In this software you get a chance to try different body shapes. Um, when you've got the one that you want, you then can start to add your features onto it. So you might have uh, studied tigers, you might have studied giraffes and uh, this software just allows you to try different heads onto the body. So I'm just using different eyes, trying different eyes, just to see what they look like. And there's even eyes on the end of stalks. So the next thing then that you might think about is does your animal walk on two legs? Does it walk on four legs? And again with this software you can just try different types of legs. You can decide where you would like them to join the body. My wee animal's gonna have arms. And again, once you have the arms attached, you can lengthen them, you can shorten them, you can change where the elbows are. The hands themselves, again, you've got options. There are different types of hands that you can give your creature. first look I went for was a kind of a, um, a webbed foot, but I thought no, that this creature needs to have claws. And another thing about this software is you, you can put it out there into the wild, you can see how it moves. Bring it back into the editor and change things. And once you've got the basic shape, you can then start to add some of the finer features. So it can have horns, different types, different shapes. And you'll notice that all of these parts come from existing animals.
you can have your creature just in a solid black background or you can actually decide on different backgrounds to have different terrains to put it in. So I'm just finishing off here by adding a few wee spikes down the back and then the final step is to think about a, an overall colour scheme and again in the software there's a whole variety that just with the click of a button we'll put them onto the creature and you can have a look and see whether or not you like it. So our final wee touch is just lengthening the tail, giving it some spikes. And now once we've got our creature created and settled on a, on a colour scheme, we can actually pop it into the background and make it do things. So you see down at the bottom of the screen lots and lots of options where you can make it cry, where you can make it howl, where you can make it scared. And you just simply move your mouse to move your creature about. Once we're in this screen we can take screenshots. There's a small camera icon so you can position your camera and take a photograph. And that will save that photograph onto your hard drive and your computer. So these are all different poses.
So if you want to have a bit of fun over our current lockdown, uh, I'll, I'll give you details at the end where you can get this software online. I think it's only about £4.95 or something like that. And uh, you can see all of the different options. What you could do if you wanted to was create your creature and, uh, and then do a drawing from it. It will also, if you produce a, a video here, it will also remember the video so you can you can make your own wee a video sequence of your animal. Another nice wee touch is you can give it a wee baby and it will create a, a tiny creature that looks like it's mummy. So here's the, the details of um, the software itself. It's called Spore Creature Creator. Uh, you'll find it on Origin and I think the price is, is just over £4. I'm not saying that you need to get it, um, but if you have a birthday coming up or you have a wee bit of spare money or you want to, uh, somebody's offered to, to treat you and you think you would like to use that software then You'll find the details on the screen. So good luck with designing your fantasy creature. This might give you some ideas, uh, but at the end of the day, it's uh, really drones that I'm looking for. And uh, here are some of the photographs that I've taken, the screenshots that I've taken of other creatures, plus the one that I've just made. So good luck. And I hope to see some great fantasy creature drones uh, photographed and sent to me uh, for the deadline.